Yeah, a little tiny one on here. May use him for bait. Oh, live pinfish. That is going to be bait. Oh, shoot. We do have a big rig ready to go. So we're going to put him on for bait. Oh shoot, it's a, we got something big Eli, come, come reel this other one in. Bring that rod down, bring that rod down. Bring that rod down, push it straight down. Okay, thanks. We got something big. It's burning my drag. I don't know. No, it's definitely not a redfish. It's going to be a shark. Shark or something huge. I'm trying to keep the drag. I'm trying to fight him. There we go. I got him that. Oh my gosh. This was a live pinfish. I got something huge on here. Something huge. Oh, smoking my reel. Live pinfish. Glad I have the leader on here. Whatever it was, smoked it. It's a shark, I'm not grabbing it. No, we're gonna cut it, cut it by the lip. I wish it was a coke. Reel the other rod in for me. That big one. Tighten the drag and reel it in. Reel all the small ones in too. This is the first time I've ever caught a big fish on this. No way. Oh, my camera. I'll swim out there and try to look for it. I bet it was cut by this. That's okay. Reel them out of the little rods. I have 30 pound titanium leader on here that uh, Angle up with Brant, taught me about. You can get it at Beach Bum Outdoors, you can get it at other tackle stores as well. This fish is smoking me. Look at that drag. All of them in, yep. Lost the go fish cam, unfortunately. I'll try to go back out there and look for it later. This thing smoked the live pinfish. He's coming in, whatever it is. This little surf fishing reel is killing it right there. This little 6000 series pin long cast. I've got the Ocean Master Bass Pro, uh uh, Bass Pro rig. It's got to be a shark. I mean, it could be a big cobia, but I, I've never caught one from the beach. My guess is going to be a shark. I'm going to keep it away from the people, though. Oh, this thing is freaking heavy. Oh, man, you got to be careful with the gonies here. You don't want to crush something. Whatever it is, smoke that live pinfish.
turn this fish. I do not want to take this fish by the crowd. I want to keep the fish away from the crowd. I want to pull it to my left. He'll eventually turn with all this pressure. People don't realize that about fish. Is that they'll originally turn when they have all this pressure on one side. He'll start coming back this way. See, look, here he comes. Here he comes, coming back, coming back. Still haven't seen anything in water yet. He's going from left to right. You can see the beach down here. I don't want that disaster to be there towards the beach. They do. They're coming down here. He's coming back. I suggest if you have a big fish like this and you know the crowd is down there, get it coming back your way. Don't go towards the crowd, even if you have to lose the fish. Stay in one spot. Don't ever walk down the beach with a giant fish. It's just not going to end up well for anybody. Put pressure on it, and then with the pressure, it'll eventually come back. People are so scared they're going to lose a fish, they start walking down the beach. And all of a sudden, you're walking, becoming the drag, when your drag is supposed to do the work, not you. You become the drag. It's like being on a kayak, and you got a big fish. So I'm going to put pressure on it. It'll go back from left to right. we got the crowd coming now. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? I'm busy. I'm busy. I don't know what it is yet, but it hit a live bait, a big pinfish. Here it comes. I did see it flip out on top of the water once. It's definitely not going to be a spinner shark or a black tip. That guy doesn't come over my line. I'm not worried about him. There'll be more and more people coming. There he goes. He's running. Paddleboard right in front of me. He's going to go over my line. Hopefully he knows. I would go around it a little bit. I would go around it a little bit. There you go. You're good. You're good now. tight so I do have 100 pound fluoro excuse me 100 pound 100 pound mono on here oh here he comes oh he came in quick I thought I was gonna lose him I thought he got off but he did he just come back towards left to right I see I haven't moved at all I stayed in one spot fighting this fish because you are in control the moment you start walking unless you're trying to get over lines or warn people you just stay in one spot and fight the fish. Let the rod do the work. This thing feels probably 60 to 80 pounds. He's going to do another run right now. There's the run. actually eat a live pinfish before. Is it shark week? He is not tuckered out yet. I mean, it 
absolutely smoked that big fish. We are in Orange Beach, Alabama, and we've got something big on. This is a vacation fishing trip. We do have folks in the background being uh, on camera right now <laughs> looking to see what I got. He ain't done yet, man. He is not done yet. I don't know what it is yet. Probably. My guess is yes. I saw something splatter out there. I used live bait, so that it hit that. This is for your shark month right here. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna let him go down the beach though. Most people do a mistake and start walking. I see him now. Start walking down the beach with a fish and then they get all in the crowds. He's getting close. He's about uh, 15 yards out. You'll start seeing his shadow in a minute. I've got a I got a 30 pound titanium leader, okay. which you won't bite through that. Use a live pinfish. Yeah. Basically using a Carolina rig, but with a weight that will stay in place. Right. He's just going left and right right now. We're tying him out. How long am I fighting this? Uh, he's about 10 yards out. He's going to make a turn. There he goes. There's some tails. There's some tails. There you go. Is this for your birthday? Yeah. <laughs> he's right there. Yep, it's still running. Yeah, he ain't giving up I used a, a, a live pinfish that I caught at the beach. All right, he's coming in. He's about 15 yards out. He's getting black on top of the water. Teresa, I need you to grab it by the tail and pull it in. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just saw him. It kind of shined. It, it didn't, I don't think shark didn't have a shiny spot on it. Did you see something shine? It may be a king mackerel. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what I got. I don't know what I got. Maybe it's a tarpon. Now a tarpon would have jumped by now. I hope not. They have caught one here. Caught one here last year. Yep. I think it's a black tip. I don't know. I saw a fin. But it looks like it's shining to me, which I don't know. A goblin shark. A 
That's definitely a shark. Yep. Shark week again. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I see it too. Definitely a shark. I see it. I do. Wait a minute. That's a, I don't think that's a shark. No, I think it may be a jack. It's a jack cravel. I think so. I think it is. Hold on. It's shining. It's shining. Yeah, it's a jack cravel. Not a shark. It's a jack. Yay! It's my first jack I've ever caught from the beach. This is gonna be a pretty fish. No teeth. Anybody can have pictures with it. It's a Jack Cravel. If y'all want to hold this fish, you can. Bring him on in, daughter. No, not yet. I'll go grab it. Yep, that's a Jack. That is awesome. I'm glad it's not a shark. Still a pretty fish, though. I'm excited about this fish. I'm excited. I gotta get my camera. <laughs> no. Good shark bait. I'll see if Jack wants it. Yakking with Jack. I knew when I see it, see it shine, it wasn't a shark. We're getting, we're trying to. He's coming up. Yeah, he'll start he'll start going off again here in a minute. There he goes. He ain't done yet. Come on, turn back around. Turn back around. I gotta turn him back right here. Hey, it, Natalie, uh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Daddy! <laughs> I'm about to go grab him. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to have to ask Eli to hold this rod. You hold the camera. Mm -hmm. Eli, come here. I want you to hold this rod. Just like this. Come here. Put it on your legs and hold it. Just hold right there. If he wants to run, he wants to run. There we go. That's a big old jack right there, y'all. He's not, he's not an eater. They don't taste good, unfortunately. There you go. Y'all have fun. Let me get the pliers out. <laughs> Good job. You, you got it. So Jack Creval. Jack Creval. I'm actually going to keep him. I'm actually going to keep this fish and give it to my friend who's a shark fisherman. <laughs> Who wants to hold it? Hey. <sighs> So take, go. It's going to take two of y'all. Y'all hold it and I'll get a picture with if he, if he starts freaking out, just throw him on the ground, okay? okay. <laughs> Woo! I'm going to keep this fish. If you want pictures, y'all get pictures. I'll hold it. If you want to see yourself on video again, subscribe to Fish Gum. Fish Gum.
Well, it's always good to be able to catch something at the beach that no one's ever seen before. I've never caught one either. So when you're at the beach, public beach, try to keep the fish you're fighting away from the crowd by staying in one place. You can land it and then let the other people who are here who watch you enjoy the catch, hold the fish, and take pictures. Thank you so much for watching. Join me next time right here. We excited to strike. God bless.